Boom. Hey, Mr. Iron Thor's back. Oh, oh goodness. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck just had? He just immediately blows up. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Oh, oh no! First death. First death. <laughs> All right, welcome to Eternals season three. In this season, we're going to be doing some things a little differently, um, but each of the other Eternals will explain that in more detail as they uh, <laughs> as they need to. But yep, we're good. All right. Bill right. Bill looks like a lost child back there. Just yeah, like, no, he, he was, like, was back there like, <laughs> he was, like I'm just around. minding my business. So you always got something to say. All right, last person to to the end is Rotten Egg. Bye. The end of what? <laughs> the end. <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> well, what is up, you guys? I am Crooked Man, and this is Eternals Season Three. I'm really happy to be on this server once again. A fresh start with everyone. We're starting off this new server for the new update, 1.21. And you can see the sun's already going down a little bit there, so I need to keep on the river here so that I don't get attacked by something. You can see I've already found a bit of a uh, savanna biome. This is where I've been wanting to build this season. I'm really excited about it. And a lot of the savanna biome so far is the plateau which is too high above the river level for me to uh, really build where I want to. The things are starting to level out, though, so this is going to be maybe a better spot for me. Maybe a good flat spot. So I'm hoping for something here in this direction. It looks like it's opening up a little bit more. It's definitely fun to be starting off on a new server with everyone all at the same time. This way we can all really be on the same progression. I came in pretty late to season two and everyone was pretty advanced already pretty far. So yeah, this looks like a good spot. It might be a little bit narrow, but we'll see. But yeah, we've got a couple of ideas for this season that are going to be a little bit different and a little dynamic and we're excited to give it a shot. Ooh. Okay, okay. I think this could do. Let's see here. This looks like it might be transitioning out of the Savannah Plateau biome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this this looks like it's a good flat biome here. This looks like what I was wanting to find. Wonderful. Hello, brown sheep. Indeed. <laughs> All right. And, and like, I've still got some cool terrain there in the background. I wonder if there's some more mountains or something else over on this side that may be a little more interesting. Ooh, there's a pit here, not quite a cave. Okay, a little bit there. <gasps> it's an armadillo! <laughs> I've already found a couple of them. Uh, you see, I already made some wolf armor, but uh, as much as I wanted penguins in the game, this this is the guy that I'm basing with. This is why I chose the savannah. <laughs> Oop, I spooked him. All right. Hello. <laughs> All right. I'll have to be uh, working with some armadillos here at some point. But yeah, I think this is a good spot. Definitely a, a good flat open area. One of the things that I have made the uh, mistake, I don't really want to call it a mistake, but just uh, a judgment that didn't pan out as I thought it would be. It's, I've done a lot of bases in like dark oak forests, which I love. I, I will still say that is my favorite biome of all. But there's just so much to clear out and there's not a lot of room to build. And I feel like that hinders my creativity just a little bit because I just can't envision what a space can be with all of the trees in the way. So with the savannah being a little more spread out, I feel like that'll help with some of my creativity. And I've got a plan for a really big build that I really want to do. I've wanted to do it for a little while now. <coughs> I choked myself. <clears throat> Anyhow, I wanted to uh, do this particular build. And I'm really excited for it. Plus, the first SMP I ever played on was in a Savannah biome. That was my first base that I ever did. And I really liked the orange color of the wood. It made for a really cool uh, village that I built. I unfortunately don't have any uh, footage or any pictures of that because that was back in 2020 when I had just started playing this game. And that server 
is lost to time, unfortunately, along with many things from the pandemic. But <laughs> I'm excited to bring a new season to y'all with a lot more creative juice. Also, as a quick little life update, I have moved out of Colorado and now I live in Memphis, Tennessee. Yes, a new job, a new me, a new Minecraft server, lots of new things happening here, middle of 2024. But that also is a bit of why I had a bit of an interim between uh, the end of season two and the beginning here of season three. So I'm, I'm excited about the new job. It's a great job. I've uh, definitely been waiting to get back on air. So that's just a little bit about what's been going on in real life for me recently. And I'm excited to have a new spot, a new server, a new place that we're living. Of course, our dog, Kaner, he is really, really enjoying the backyard. Look at this picture. He is just loving the grass, loving time to spend outside a little more than just a small apartment. So, speaking of living quarters, I think I'm going to go ahead and in this area where I've started to clear out some grass, plop down a little starter house. Well, I think I got a little carried away in the time away building, but here it is. I am, I'm actually really, really happy with this. I've had a couple of starter bases in recent worlds, you can see inside a little bit already, where I'm only moderately happy with them, but I'm actually really happy with this. I tried a new roof design on this two over one half slab pattern, and I really like it. I feel like it fits better with, you know, just sort of the crooked tree vibe of the savanna biome. I'm using a lot of the acacia tree wood here. And so you come in and there's this first little room. I'll probably put like a couple of little things here and there. Not exactly sure, but it, I think it'll be like a, a, just sort of a landing zone. And then in here is where I'm going to have storage, probably a few rows of storage right here at the front, a little bit on the side. And then also I've got this little cubby area here with some storage. And then up here, a little loft because I didn't want to go too overboard and make a two story build. So I put a loft for my bed and I really like it. I've even got a little look out here that I can see. I'm going to put a lantern right there when I have the resources for it. But I really, really like this, uh, this area. It's, it's working really well so far. Um, I actually did change the location from where I last left off. Um, get that out. Oh, okay. Well, you can see I've been building. Um, <laughs> I changed location from up there, uh, which is where we last, last left. And I thought this little cove here would be really cute to, uh, you know, have a little waterfront property as well. Now, I did have to venture out uh, and find another dark oak forest way that direction because when I was making the floor initially, I was missing four spots. And so that allowed me to get a little bit more. I could lengthen it and make, you know, another... Because you always want your floors to match. So whenever you go up to this loft, it still needs to look like it's the floor. I tried it with acacia and it blended too much in with the walls and ceiling. It was just too much samey. Um, I'm still a little uncertain about what I want to do with the ceiling. Of course, there is this line here that I could, and I think I probably will do like stripped acacia logs at that level just to divide a little bit. I'll, I'll keep the acacia wood here just fine, but just to have a little bit of an interruption in the bottom versus top part of this area. And I like having this sort of double pane that sort of frames that window there. Another thing I need to do is add a little bit more depth, I think, at the base here. It just looks, again, a little flat, but I think adding that cross beam there um, I think that will really help to break up some of the flatness on here. And I'll probably add a cross beam there as well, make that just a one wide window above the doorway. But I'm really happy with this. Let me know what you think about it. If you've been around for a while, let me know how it compares, you think, to some of my other starter bases. Because I really think this is one of my best ones that I've had in a long time, if not ever. Then as we come down to this little point here, I've made this into just some farmland. Of course, there's some sand there, but I mean, I don't need all that much wheat just yet. Just enough to get some 
uh, hay bales that you see I've packed up over there. Over here, I've got a little tree farming area where I'm growing up all the acacia. Of course, I needed a lot for this. Oh, I, I thought I heard another armadillo. <laughs> but those little guys have been running around lately. And then if we come over here, this is the temporary, uh, let, me, let me say temporary, we'll see how long I use it for. This is the entrance to my mining, my cave entrance here. Yes, I know, I'm still bumping my head. I haven't gone through the effort of clearing that out just yet. All right, so I've cleaned up all of the chests and other starter area there, and I've brought it inside my house. Yes, I'm still using the window. I don't have glass yet, but we'll get to it. But <laughs> I've brought everything inside. I've got my furnaces here and my uh, my little stone cutter. I've got a couple of crafting benches just in different rooms, and look at this, y'all. Wood. Rock. Food and plants. <laughs> Valuables. I'm actually organized. Episode one. This is incredible. <laughs> and so with that, I do have a little delivery that I'm waiting for this little sapling to uh, uh, to grow up for because Scrabby was wanting some jungle saplings to be delivered because I'm actually pretty close to a really cool jungle area. So like this is all jungle here, but this is a sparse jungle. This is something that in, in normal generation, this only spawns like on the very edge of jungles, uh, like just, just as a very short, shallow transition. And since we're doing the large biomes this season, it spawned it in a very wide area, and honestly, this would be a much easier jungle to build in than the dense, thick jungle. Of course, dark oak and jungle are two places where I've tried to base before, and it was just too thick, so that's why I'm really happy going for you know the savanna that's a little more open. So I'm going to wait here, wait for this to grow up, get a handful of saplings, and I'll message Scrabby to see if he wants to meet up somewhere. <laughs> Good Lord, have mercy. <sighs> My body took a f screenshot. <laughs> I've been laughing this whole time. <laughs> So oh, I thought you heard me. God. I, I literally thought you heard me. I just came rolling up. <laughs> yeah, I heard and I saw some madness coming at me. <sighs> oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Well, if, you, if you weren't awake, if you were getting tired, I'm sure that kind of uh, jolted your body a little bit. I, I I think I needed to give myself CPR, but <laughs> <laughs> I scared you so bad. You just like immediately left it. I was dying laughing. <laughs> like, what just happened? <clears throat> oh, oh my gosh. I went into fight or flight and I chose flight. <laughs> <laughs> well you punched me and then you left. <laughs> like you wanted to fight and then you're like, oh, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> that was spam clicking trying to do something. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, and center. In the zone, huh? And breathe. And breathe. Um, I don't mean to be that guy, but I, I traveled like 6,000 blocks, and I forgot to bring food. So, do you have any, like, extra food? You just step in here. Come inside and... Uh, yeah, okay, maybe not kill yourself, but just step inside, take a look. I've got everything organized, in fact. Beautiful. Thank you. I don't need... Alright, here are six bread for you. That's enough. That works. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to now. give you my... Uh, <laughs> my hard-earned steak yet, but you can have some bread. <laughs> Understandable. I have realized that I sometimes overextend my building. 
when I try and make a two-story building. So that's why I went with the loft design for the bed. I like that though. It's cool. It, it, it like has the dark oak floor up there as well, so it matches downstairs. I tried to go with like the acacia initially, but it just, mm -hmm. it was too samey. Uh, too much of the same color. Yeah, 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 and it just blended into the wall and ceiling. But I gotcha, I gotcha. Also, I, I was in the process of putting all of this acacia log up here, and I was going to strip it, but mm -hmm. I kind of like it just as the log. What do you think? I think it adds a good like contrast. I would, okay. I think I would leave it to the log because when you strip okay. it, it's like a, it's like an orange too, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, like it's just orange. like a solid color. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. I think you're right. Yeah, I think the contrast makes it pop a little bit. It makes it look like more of a foundation. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like the gray. Actually, like one of the one of the best woods, to be honest. Truly it's a beautiful wood. Uh, my first base ever in Minecraft was in a savanna. Going back to the roots, I see. Yes. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to see where the other people live, and I'm going to go and try to scare somebody else. I already went to Scrabby. <laughs> he was he was fishing, but he didn't get scared. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, yeah. And Yuki and Gage are so far up there, but maybe I just head that way. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you. On your Thank slow, you the... jumpless horse. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I might even, if I find another horse, I might even tame one just to see if it's faster and then abandon this guy. <laughs> Honestly. Poor little guy. Yeah, he's alright. He'll, he'll live his best life. Alright. Bye. Alrighty. Have fun. <laughs> I'm not going to be hanging around here to scare you again, I promise. I am on high alert. <laughs> Dear Gussie, that was terrifying. Uh, I haven't had a good jump scare like that in a while. <laughs> Probably the last one was like a drop creeper, and that, that was that was the level of terror of a drop creeper. <laughs> it it just didn't have the payoff of a death message. All right, so with Mikey's input, I think we are going to leave it with uh the you know the unstripped logs here. I think it makes for a really nice aesthetic it, it, it definitely adds a little more depth of color to it i think adding those little cross beams it's it's a choice um it might be a little much on some of these like i could see it working there and there but i don't know that every corner needs it hmm I'll leave it for now. I'll, I'm going to sit with it. Um, but I think the overhangs are good. I, I don't want to go out one more. And that's my only debate with these. Uh, if I go out one too far. Unless, here, let, let's try it like this. Instead of doing a full overhang, I'm going to expose the end there so that you, you see the end grain but it doesn't quite give it that, it doesn't give it too much shape. It just gives a little visual depth. And then here, since this is a tall beam, it should be on its own. Let's try it like that. And that way it sort of breaks symmetry a little bit. It, it's, it's sort of reversed since this is the small and that's the large side. It, it's, it's sort of reversed and subverts that. I, I, I'm saying words, you know, maybe it makes sense, maybe it doesn't, who knows. But <laughs> I, I think I like it there. Um, the entryway, I always struggle with entries because, you know, I want to put like a, a some sort of top, some roof line over it, some sort of shape, but it, I'm not sure what I'll do with that. So I think I'll sit with it for a little while longer. That's one thing I know I struggle with in building. I try and do it all at once and make sure everything looks nice all together. And then I wind up just doing too much and it doesn't work. That was a problem I had with my last base on Eternals. Um, so I think I'll just leave it be. We'll see about what we can do next around the base just to you know, get it up. I think a good thing to look for now would be some food. 
I don't have any carrots for the pigs. I don't really want to do sheep for food. I could go on a quick quest, find some cows and corral them up. Maybe right over here. Yeah, up here would be good. Just a small corral for some cows right next to the wheat farm. Let's go do that. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> I went on a bit of an explore. I'm sorry. Uh huh. You're riding a llama. <laughs> uh, well, y yes, that that's sure. what took me so long. You can't control those, can you? No, no. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think so. <laughs> it, it was just here. <laughs> Hi. That's funny. Hello. I got the stuff. I also have the stuff. I got eight spruce saplings and a coast trim from the far east. Ooh. You bring Very goods nice. from the far west. I do. I bring you a stack of bamboo. Oh, a stack. Eight so cocoa beans. Oh. Four jungle chocolate. saplings. Oh. And just to sweeten the deal, because once you said the coast armor trim copy, I was like, okay, I've got to give you a full stack of oh. jungle logs to get you started. Wow. What a trade. Have some homemade fish. <laughs> oh, yummy. Good, because I'm on one steak left. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. <laughs> I did bring some uh, backup pork chop, but, uh, you know. Whew. All right, well, thank you for all these wonderful items. Yes, gonna, and thank you for the armor trim. Well. Um, I will maybe use it at some point once I My you fancy know, armor. <laughs> get something. <laughs> Other th So I did craft the boots, the chest plate, and the helmet, but I found the thorns three legs. Ah, nice. The one time that I punched you did not give me thorns back. <laughs> I'll try it again. Do it. Nope. 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 Man, your armor's garbage, man. Thorns 3 is worthless. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. go. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what you get. <laughs> Dang, his armor actually did something. <laughs> Look. <laughs> it's better than the curse of binding someone tried to pawn off on me earlier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I got to head back now, hopefully before mm. the sun sets. It no, won't happen, but <laughs> not for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Well, I've been doing a little work around the base, and you can see from a lot of sugar cane, I've been getting a lot of paper and a lot of cows for a lot of leather and food, of course, because steak, you know, is the best food. And that means that we have a full enchantment set up here. I'm really happy with this. Look at that. I, I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this big area over here is sort of living room space but i think it'll work well for my starter enchanting corner and then i can use some of this space here on this wall for storage of course i've got these four storage units in here can't really do much else but i could do a little on this wall as well and then also i've acquired a full set of gold armor and so I think right here, this little entryway, I'm going to put all five sets of armor. I've got those leather boots that I've constructed as well. And honestly, with all of the leather I have, I could probably make a full suit of leather armor. I'm wearing all iron, eventually all diamond, and one day all netherite. But of course, I've got 30 levels already. And I just want to see what I can get on my first pickaxe. It's got Unbreaking 3. That's good. I am happy to see that. I wish it was guaranteed Fortune 3. Efficiency 4 and Unbreaking 3. Okay. All right. I'll take it. That's good enough. All right. Cool. Well, I'll keep that in there. Of course, I've got an extra bookshelf. And I like this little arrangement. I've got the Disenchanter grindstone right there. That's pretty, uh, pretty nice. And I would like to put some sort of hanging light here as well. I just don't really have the uh, iron for it at this moment. Also, I'm, I'd probably have to put it there because this is the top half of a slab. So I'll have to put it there. I'm going to make a quick little uh, lantern there. There we go. That'll be better than having these uh, torches just chilling here. That should probably light up the room well enough. And I think I've got a torch up here. No, I took that one out. Okay, cool. I still don't know what I want to do for the front porch out here. It's it's still just a little bit bare. 
I might, ooh, this is an idea. I might bring it down a little bit so that it sits lower. That could be cool. We'll have to see. But I think we'll have to see in the next episode from the Eternals SMP. Thank you so much for watching. I am very excited to see what can happen this next season. Of course, if you are new here, please subscribe as well. Of course, please. Will you? You don't have to. It would help, though. <laughs> and, of course, uh, everyone who has been here for a little while, I do appreciate your continued support right here. I'm Pro Kitman from the Eternals SMP. Have a good one.